Yo guys, what's going on? Robert Warshak here, and we're going to be taking a look at and going over some Elemental Overload Shaman. So for those of you who are interested in playing Shaman, but are not interested in playing Quest Shaman or Gala Shaman, this is a, another form of an aggressive Shaman deck, taking advantage of its ability to go very wide on the board very early in the game, and then winning with cards like Bloodlust and Direct Damage. It utilizes a couple of the new cards like Maximus and the uh, Squall Hunter, so we'll cover the deck in detail, explain why I have what I have in here, and then from there you guys will head into some games, very fast games, and you guys can see what the deck can do. So if you do like this deck, you do copy pasta it, you know, throw an upvote or a like, it really helps the video out in the YouTube algorithm, believe it or not, like seriously, it helps a ton but if you don't like the video don't even worry about it uh looking at zap this is the zero mana deal two damage to a minion we like killing minions for free every card in the deck that has overload guys which a lot of them do synergize with stuff like unbound elemental that gets plus one plus one for every time we overload thunderhead which when uh we do overload it summons two one one sparks with rush i know they're not two ones guys but shit you know come on the two ones a little broken we got to be fair here we summon one ones with rush here uh vanessa of course while you're overloaded your other minions have plus two attack uh, which is basically like giving all of your minions savage roar all of the time and then we have the maximus one of the new cards the five mana five five if you're overloaded he can deal five damage to everything including your opponent's face um so again that's why there's so much overload in the deck lightning bolt one mana deal three damage overload one uh going face or killing early game minions is really really good sludge slurper one of the best one drops in the game a one mana two one get a lackeys lackeys are good has overload storm's wrath um looks a little underwhelming but it actually works really well because once we have like four or five minions on the board we play this it's basically like if we have four minions we play this it's dealing four damage for one mana plus our minions are buffed which allows them to make trades or it's just harder for our opponent to kill Volcanic Burst, a great minion um, generator, paying one mana and get, basically getting two minions. And if we have the Thunderhead out, we get two more. And if we have un Unbound Elemental out, it gets the plus one, plus one. Uh, Lick'em, <laughs> really good weapon. The three durability is what makes it insane. And uh, while you're overloaded, you have plus two attack on it. So it's basically two mana, deal nine damage if you go uh, all face with it. Soul of the Murloc, because there's not really any huge minions in this deck, being able to have your minions when they die make even more minions. So for example, we have a board of three to like six minions we play solar murloc our opponent clears the board but then a whole bunch of murlocs come up and then we follow up with bloodlust we can win the following turn even though our board was technically cleared the turn before uh electra storm surge in combination with cards like lava burst on your opponent's face for 10 damage for just six mana and or using it with bloodlust on turn eight so you go electra storm surge double bloodlust add six damage for each min you have on board is insane uh lava burst you know it's a bad fireball but it's what we got <laughs> uh spirit of the frog uh again two of these may be too much i've been playing with it i like it but uh we could probably cut down on one of these and throw in another card i'm not sure what that card will be uh you guys could have suggestions so if you're thinking about like what to take out for something spirit of the frog one of them's probably good enough but i found that too just the consistency of having it because you play the frog you got zaps and lightning bolts those help you get into storm's wrath soul the murloc soul the morlock get you into lava burst you know what i mean so it just like kind of all flows together and being able to have that sort of guaranteed draw with the spirit of the frog is really really good um but you know the deck may the deck may run better with just one but i like two the two seem to feel okay but mm, i didn't do too much testing with one unbound elemental we kind of covered that it grows every time we play an overload and there's a shit ton of overloads this guy all right so this is one of the new cards it's a four mana five seven dragon so he's he's huge right it's big stats the reason why i like him so much is first of all he has overload which is really good and synergizes with the overload stuff but he has the plus two plus two spell damage which is really big so all of a sudden our lightning bolts deal five our zaps do four our lava bursts are doing seven you know what i'm saying so like this guy doesn't look that great um and it hasn't seen a lot of play in almost any other deck that i've seen but for me this guy put in a lot of work and he was quite exciting thunderhead one of the best cards in the deck you almost keep this guy in the mulligan even though he's like more expensive card in the deck just the ability to play this guy on curve and generate a bunch of one ones with brush is insane uh vanessa again it's like running savage roar she's one of the best cards like 
to win you game. Like she's like kind of like a miniature bloodlust. Plus she's a minion, so it's just it's really good. She's super good. Uh, bloodlust itself, of course, one of the shaman cards that's been around forever. And what makes this deck basically have that huge finisher that your opponent is always scared of you having. And then we have the Maximus, one of the new cards from the set. Five mana, five five elemental, and it does five. Like I said, it can you you can kill minions with this. You can go face with this. It's just a really cool new elemental that synergizes really well with the overload mechanics. So with that, let's head into the games and enjoy guys i discarded vanessa uh to craft kronk's dragon hoof i hope that wasn't a mistake no gala is a pretty good card gala is generally pretty good i don't think i would have disenchanted vanessa because she's really good but if you don't play shaman it's fine He lovers instead. Ooh, Stormbringing, Haunting Visions. Let's go Stormbringer. It's a Mimi card. I normally don't eat, uh, play Swarmy decks either, but we've been playing Control. We just like I'm gonna try to switch back and forth. Like we just finished playing a Highlander Control Dragon Mage, so I wanna, you know what I mean? I'm switching to a more aggressive style. So next deck I'll play is probably be a more control based. And then we'll switch to like a more aggressive style deck. We're switching back and forth. Gen generally though, I play um, control decks. That's what I specialize in. I don't really do as well with aggro decks, but aggro decks are still popular uh, for a lot of people. So I don't want to only just play control decks and only have control people watching. Mickey Senso. So I can go frog. Nah, I don't want to go frog, do I? I also don't want to overload for next turn because I want to play Vanessa. But I don't want to just go lick him, trade, trade, face. Like, that just doesn't seem good. And, like, lick him, like, lick him, volcanic burst. I, I mean, I. This is not ideal. But this push, this pushes six damage. You think Combo Priest is still very strong? Any deck that was tier 1 prior to the new cards coming out are still, still tier, tier 1 at the moment. The best decks to play are... The best decks to play once an expansion hits are the same decks after it. Do I zap weapon that? I feel like this kills him. Which kind of does. But I want to say vap, zap for Vanessa, but it will give me a one drop and I will be able to kill this and push more and knowing he's zoo Nah, seems all right That's good, so I'll be able to go Electra storm into storm's wrath. That's insane. Oh, yeah, baby Then I guess the Stormbringer is less good because if they're gonna be buffed minions anyway Like turning them into legendaries isn't I guess it I guess turning them into legendaries is okay Oh, baby. So I could just go Vanessa and then trade here. Or I go this into this and then I still trade here. Hmm. I like Vanessa. Because next turn I have lethal. Because next turn I go Electra Storm Surge, Storm's I've Wrath, I win. Had the time of my life. No, I've never felt this way before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Take damage, daddy. Oh, no taunt for you. So, which one provides more damage? They both do exactly the same. They both do three damage, right? This one... Yeah, they both do three damage, right? Because this gives plus one, plus one twice. This does three, three twice. I just want to confirm that they both do the same thing. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yo, Killer Mouse with the tier one coming in hot. Yo, thank you, Killer. Appreciate that, man. That's not even a Twitch Prime. That's just a straight up sub. Uh oh. It's another Shaman. It's probably a uh, quest. Probably quests. 
Um, no, no. I always keep Thunderhead. The question is Spirit of the Frog. I don't think so, right? All right, sounds good, informant. Yeah, he's probably, he's quest. What an intellectual chat. Of course it's the right way. <laughs> of course it's the right way. Look at all the new cards he's playing. Elements guide me. How many card new cards do we have in the deck? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six new cards in the deck. Seems reasonable. We're going to pop off with a really nice turn. <sighs> We're just going to hope he doesn't have a... Um, MC Tech. I'm going to go hard. I'm going to go fast, chat. I can't tell what's better. Like a trading and then going volcanic or playing the storms. All right, well, that was the play. Please, please, please don't have MC Tech. Please, please, please don't take my 4-7. Plays MT Tech, steals 4-7. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! We dodged a bullet. He top-decked it, too. Ah, uh, Jesus. It's always so scary. <sighs> All right. We win next turn through Bloodlust, but I need to keep all the minions alive, right? I think if I kill off one, it's okay. Alright, let's get him. Oh, you mega dead. M -m 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 mega, mega dead. All right, never mind. He's alive. Fuck. <clears throat> I feel like I don't want to take that damage. Time. 
Okay. I don't know if that was the right play. I, I just needed to make sure I can Bloodlust again next turn, and there was no way for me to soul the Murloc and Bloodlust me that turn. So my only option was to fill up the board again, hopefully he doesn't have the clear, and I couldn't take the 4 damage, because then I'd be dead to a hero power, um, lackey, life drinker. So... You know what I mean? I did with what I could with what I had. So I have 8 mana, but I float 2. So zap's good. So... What I think I'm gonna do here is zap... Bloodlust, which means I can weave in a hero power, which means I trade two guys off first, right? Bloodlust gives him 3, so I hit... This... Bloodlust. Hit. Hit. And then this is lethal, right? We have 8, 8, 16, plus 7, 23. That looks, this looks pretty good. And then 8 and 8. We're playing out of our minds. I think I always keep Thunderhead. I don't think I keep anything else. Another song request? What the fuck, Chavo? What do you do to stockpile? Chavo wants another song, so I will play it for him. Yes, I will. Another shuffle song? I don't think I've heard this one before. It's a 2014 remix? The hell? Throwback, throwback. I have no solid turn 3 play, so I just hear a power zap. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. Boots and cats. Now what? 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 You have to boots and cats. Boots and cats. Still a nice amount of viewers for this hour. Sorry today was such a headache for you. Yeah, today was like... Terrible. <laughs> terrible. Uh, today was terrible in the sense that... Fuck. In the sense that, um... It was just, like, Spectrum. Like, I would have been streaming for additional three and a half hours if it wasn't for Spectrum. Like, we, we started the stream at 12.30, and I would still be streaming till now. And I'd be ending the stream right now, knowing that I streamed for 12 hours today. Spectrum... Cucked. My day. They gave my day the big cuck. How... Did the deck video perform uh it is at 522 views with 57 likes which is really good so as long as you guys i should probably say it in chat another time hold on one second let me figure out what i want to do here it's gotta be thunderhead lightning bolt and i just push for lethal next turn Right? So I can trade here. This goes face. And then I just win next turn. Yeah, so guys, I posted our first video for the, um... For this new Descent of Dragons. We played Control Lock earlier. It went 8 and 4. Really good deck. It would mean a lot if you went to the video through, like, an upvote. 
Showed some support. Or not. That works too. You don't have to do shit. But it'd be mucho cool if you did. Yeah, YouTube algorithm, having a lot of likes on a video or a lot of comments helps the video show up to other people like so fucking much. Dude, we are nutter buttering all over these people. I mean, this, this, this deck just wrecks. It just shuts them down before they could do anything. Da, 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 domination. All right, let's get to rank three and then we'll play budget Galacron and hopefully not lose. So tomorrow when I wake up, it should hopefully have above like, I'm really hoping above 2000 views. Because right now, like, people are sleeping. So, like, right now, the people who are watching it are basically, like, Europe. I don't think, maybe, maybe some people NA, but not, not really that many. So, I'm just hoping that tomorrow when everybody wakes up, it'll be one of the videos that's already doing well. So, it'll do, like, then it gets a surge of clicks because everybody's waking up and then it'll do even better. Because it would be the first video. Because not a lot of people have posted uh, their Descent of Dragon stuff yet. Because they were streaming. So I bet maybe Crip has a video out. Because his wife works alongside him. And she can like pull clips from his stream. Such a sick... Like that's so sick. And then next turn I'm going to be able to Storm's Wrath. Like oh my god this deck. Whoever recommended put in the frog, like, taking out the... What did we take out again? We took out Mugu and Evolve, and we threw in the frogs. And it's just been, like, the greatest thing ever. Like, the frogs have literally just been the greatest thing. I don't even know at this point what's better. It's gotta be the overload, right? We win next turn. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, Crip's wife is the editor, Chavo. Crip's wife does all his editing and thumbnails. And Crip's wife is really fucking good at it. Like, her ability to throw Crip's face onto um any cards and, like, have it actually look really good is, like, incredibly impressive. Impressive. Not impressing. I don't want to be on the floor tonight. Alright, we win next turn. Rank 3. Dude, this deck just slaughtered. This deck just went from rank 4 mid to rank... Or actually, this deck went from rank 4, what, no stars, to rank 3 in, in less than an hour.